What's going on guys, Gabe here, but if you are first time visiting this channel, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below, and uh, if you're actually watching this video from your laptop or PC, thumbs up. Now, the state of the world has forced us to migrate back to our laptops or uh, our PCs because our smartphones just weren't hacking it whether it's Zoom meetings or any of those type of things that you're now forced to do on a laptop, I'm here to give you the five best tips and tricks that I found. And mind you, I'm an avid Google Chrome user and I was still pretty like nerded and geeked out by what you could actually do with Google Chrome. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. We're gonna open up Google Chrome right now. And the first thing I wanna show you guys is obviously you can see all of my bookmarks. And that's a no-no. I think I'm gonna blur that out in post-processing, but you can see my ugly little mug right there. I'm gonna click this here and go on over to guest. Now you're browsing as a guest. The reason why you would wanna do that is, well, some of you just might have some extracurricular web browsing activities and you might save it <laughs> as a bookmark and you don't want anybody knowing what bookmarks you actually have. Well. If someone asks to borrow your computer or says, hey, let me show you something, make sure you don't show them something. Let them log in as a guest and you're rocking and rolling. Also keep in mind, some of you may have sensitive information on your bookmark. So go ahead and click the tab and then your auto sign in feature kicks in and then boom, someone has access to your Best Buy credit card and sees that you have over $6,000 uh, Best Buy balances. Hey Applejack, did you know I spent like $17,000 in Best Buy this year alone? What? Yeah, because I have no sponsors. I have to buy these products myself. Man, I'm gonna have to auction off my kidney. Also, make sure you are in proximity of the user because the minute you exit guest mode or if you click guest and then they click your happy little mug, they're back in action. So you X out, open it back up. Now it's going to give you the option to log in as you, and that's something you don't want. So another cool utility that Google has within the browser is a task manager. And for a lot of you who use Windows, you may be familiar with task manager, where you kill off an application because it's just using up too much CPU or too much RAM. Well. Google Chrome has something like that built right in. And the way to access this, it's really, really simple. You want to go ahead and click the three dots there. You then want to go to more tools and task manager. Now, as you can see here, I don't have quite a lot of things opened up, but you can see that Google Chrome itself is utilizing 4% CPU. Let's see uh, how much RAM expand this and the memory footprint tab, Facebook and process. Okay. Anyways, as you guys can see, you could end processes this way. This is really, really important. Um, if you feel like your browsing experience is getting bogged down, you want to see what tab is actually eating up your CPU or your memory and how your CPU is struggling. It just might not be your CPU, it just might be Google Chrome. We all know that Google Chrome is a memory hungry hippo. I like to say it differently, but we probably have kids watching. Okay, so if you guys are wondering how I managed to spend $17,000 at Best Buy, it's because I have a Best Buy shortcut right on my desktop. So there's a very easy and simple way to do this. We're gonna show you, we got ESPN.com loaded up and we click the three dots, we click more tools, we click create shortcut. We now get the prompt, create shortcut, and we click create. Now, once created, you should see that ESPN is now available on your desktop. You simply click it and I'm gonna minimize this because I'm showing you guys my tab. So the next nifty feature, and this would help you if you're experiencing a lot of crashes that are not caused by having over 500,000 tabs open. If you have 500,000 tabs open on Google Chrome, expect it to crash, guys. But 
if you're just experiencing crashing, it might be a plugin. Maybe you have too many extensions or plugins. You don't know which one's causing it. We can then go to the clean up utility. And you would do this by going to the three dots. We then go to settings. We go to advanced and you should see reset and clean up. You have the options to clean up computer or restore settings to their original defaults. Now I'm not gonna do any of that because I love all my tabs and my bookmark. Mind you, you do something like this, it's not going to erase your passwords or your user sign-ins, all right? It's just gonna clean out extensions um, so that you have a better browsing experience. And nine times out of 10, if you're experiencing too many Google crashes, it's a damn plugin or an extension. Okay, so the last tip and trick is actually right under your nose and you never know you need it until you need it. And it's actually just pretty cool if you wanna do it. But again, this is one of those things where you get to control your environment. And what I mean by that is casting to your TV via your web browser. So to do that, you would simply go ahead and hit the three dots and click cast. And this is then going to pop up your available devices. In my case, it's a shield and we are now casting. All right, so as you guys can see from my screen and this is a shameless plug to my ever faithful, sometimes silly, sometimes I don't understand why I hired him assistant. And uh, yeah, shameless plug here, jsierravisuals.com. He's in school to be a photographer. He does some really great work, but he's not a marketer. We had this conversation in private. Jacob, take it away. How would you use this utility? So the cool thing with the casting ability is if you want to show off your portfolio on a bigger screen, you can cast a website onto the TV screen and show off all the work. Yeah, whatever he just said. But uh, yeah, there is a little bit of latency. And if you do things such as go to youtube.com and click a video, and in my case, I'm using an Nvidia Shield, it's going to open up the YouTube application. Now, it doesn't work quite the same with Netflix. We're gonna go ahead and cast, let's say you are on netflix.com and uh, we have Underworld here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click this and it's actually using what's on the browser. But well, there you guys have it. Five cool tips and tricks. Be mindful of the latency when you're doing videos, when you're casting video from your laptop to your uh, Chromecast enabled devices. But yeah, these are the top five. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you uh, found these tips, tricks useful. And uh, we weren't anticipating this was gonna be a 30 minute recording. So if you saw this in less than five, six minutes, you can thank Movie Magic for that. Peace.